Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome back to our new Halo Masterclass. In today's video, we will be diving in the world of internal newsletters. Creating an effective internal newsletter can greatly enhance communication and engagement with your company. So let's take a look at the six main steps to create an internal newsletter your employees will love. Step one, define your objectives. The first step in creating an internal newsletter is to clearly define your objectives. Ask yourself, what is the purpose of this newsletter? Is it to share company updates, promote employees' achievements, or foster a sense of community? By defining your objectives, you will have a clear direction to guide your content creation and your tone of voice. Step two, understand your audience and build employee personas. Audience segmentation is essential of driving readership and engagement. In order to segment your internal audience, you need to understand what motivates different groups of employees and what type of information they need in order to succeed in their daily life. Start drafting your employee personas based on their department, location, level of seniority, and more. Pro tip, look to see if you can use the same employee personas you've created for your employee value proposition. Step three, determine frequency and format. Once you have established your objectives and your audience, it's time to determine frequency and format of your newsletter. Consider how often you will send it out, weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly, and choose a format that suits your employees' needs. What works best for your business? A traditional email newsletter, a digital publication, a podcast, or a dedicated internet page? Step four, create compelling content. According to Reagan, 45% of employees just skim through their organization's employees' newsletter. You want your employees to engage with your content? Apart from having defined audiences, asking your employees directly for their content preference might be a great way to ensure high readership and engagement levels. An easy way to do this is via a poll survey, asking employees about their favorite content format, the type of news they want to engage the most with, and the type of news they feel the company is not covering well enough. Pro tip, make it anonymous if you think you will get better insights. Step five, set up distribution channels. Once your newsletter is ready to be shared, it's important to set up distribution channels. Determine the most effective ways to reach your employees, whether it's via email, dedicated newsletter platform, or your company's internet. Or use a multi-channel comms platform that will push your newsletter to employees' preferred channels of communication at a time that suits them best. Step six, trick performance and iterate. Remember the phrase, you get what you measure? Well, it's true. Tracking your internal newsletter's performance is crucial for easy improvement. Surprisingly, 60% of IC practitioners, as noted by IABC, skip measuring their strategy success. Don't waste time hunting for data. Choose an AI-driven analytics solution for internal communication that does the hard work for you. Look beyond basic metrics like reach and engage. Dig deeper for insights. Identify the best content format for each audience. Discover high and low engagement audiences through ongoing surveys. Determine optimal timing, length, and engagement factors. The goal is to gather valuable insights for an informative and engaging newsletter without overwhelming your audience. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's class and see you next time.